first look on air at these amazing cauliflower plants. It's M89792. Here's what I want you to know that I thought was interesting because I said to Court Walleen when we were talking earlier this morning, I said, what if I don't have a veggie garden? Like I don't have a vegetable garden or a place for a vegetable garden. He says, buy a big pot and grow it in the pots. It's no problem. He said, it's the best tasting cauliflower you're gonna taste and you're getting six of these plants. We have less than a thousand of these to go around and they are brand new. Um, it's $35.98. So whether you will live in a condo, an apartment, a home, it doesn't matter. You can grow this in a nice big like 20, 24 inch pot and you can um, end up with all this gorgeous cauliflower. Let's go off to Derek because I think Derek's going to tell us all about that. I've never grown cauliflower before. I've We've only grown tomatoes, honestly, um, at our house. And I'm really anxious to hear because I love cauliflower and I know it's really good for you. Mm, so yeah. it's like I'm thinking, what if I grew my own cauliflower for something fun and different? Well, you know, this cauliflower collection is truly amazing. Um, I am a farmer. I've grown a bunch of different types of vegetables, cauliflower being one of them. If you go to the big box store and you pick up cauliflower starts, unfortunately, what you're typically going to get is at the end of the season, a small cauliflower for a lot of work. And this is not that collection. <laughs> this collection, each plant is going to produce one to two large heads in less than two months. Okay, oh, so you, really? By the time you get it home, yeah. you're going to be eating this maybe July or at the very latest, like beginning of August. Oh my and they're going to be so fresh, so nutritious. They're creamy. It's cauliflower on a whole nother level when you grow it because I believe, just like most of the produce and veggies we get from the grocery store, yeah. they're picked really early so that they can be transported, but then they yeah. lose a lot of the flavor. Right. Um, when you grow these, you're going to be picking them and eating them the very same day. Gosh. And cauliflower kind of becomes a whole new vegetable for you. And cauliflower in general, I feel like in the culinary world, is becoming popularized again with yeah. um, you have cauliflower tacos and cauliflower wings. Uh, cauliflower baked cauliflower, rice. yeah, right. Your cauliflower rice, yeah, that's everywhere yeah. now, and so it's a very, very healthy, low carb vegetable that can be used in so many ways. Mm -hmm. But when you're growing it yourself, you're getting a level of quality and nutrition and yeah. flavor that you're not going to get anywhere else. And to be honest, you know, I scour every farmer's markets wherever I am, yeah. nobody ever, ever sells cauliflower. It's just I not something it. that you find locally grown either. Yeah. Um, and so here's an option. It's so easy. They like full sun, put them in a container or in the ground, and you're going to be picking and eating these in less than two months. Wow. Uh, and here's the other thing too. So it's like once you said you get six of these plants, and this is it, it'll yep. come in these Ellie pots, again, where you just literally... Um, plant that right into the ground. You don't have to take anything off. You can see the whole root system because it's biodegradable. But each one of these is going to give you one or two of these big cauliflowers. So you're getting six of them. So even if you get just six of these big cauliflowers, how fun would that be? But you might get more than six. Now, this is just obviously right. one and done. It's an annual. You plant it, you eat it when it's ready, and then you want more next year, you can get more next year. But mm -hmm. all of the instructions come with it. Now, did you say it likes full sun or what kind of sun does it like? Yeah, they do like full sun you're gonna get your cauliflower a lot quicker that way you're gonna have uh -huh. more nutrition this I is see. something that you know I recommend trying if you've never grown a vegetable for this is yeah. one of the easiest because it is in the family of plants that we call um, oh now I just forgot the word uh, like broccoli and Brussels sprouts what's it? and uh, cruciferous brassica so the cruciferous or something plants like that? Uh, no, cruciferous. Oh, cruciferous. And so the cruciferous uh, types of plants, nothing eats them practically. You know, you're not going to have bugs on this, ah, which makes it super good. easy to grow. Super. You're not going to worry about, yeah. you know, hornworms coming to eat your 
um, cauliflower. Yeah. And so it's one of those sort of impervious to everything types of plants that's going to give it right. a huge harvest. Now, and again, you know, growing it yourself, it's the healthiest way to go. Yeah. I, I got another quick question for you, Derek, because you're so smart. So here we go. Um, should I use Roberta's Bounty on this? Or I noticed that Roberta's has what they call the two pound tomato plant fertilizer, which can be used for all veggies. Yes, uh, honestly, either or, or even both. You could go back and forth okay. every other week. Um, now the tomato food has been designed for tomatoes specifically because it's got a little bit of the high acid there. Uh -huh. There's a lot of good stuff in there for all of your veggies. But otherwise, just the bounty itself is yeah. sufficient. Okay. I love you fertilizing my food because when you feed your veggies, your veggies are going to feed you. Oh, I love that. And you get all that nutrition. I like that. If you feed your veggies, the veggies will feed you with all the nutrition and everything that you need. We have a special surprise coming up, so don't go anywhere. But I want to quickly update you on the